Mauricio and I hear this a lot. With your incomes, why in the world are you on a budget? Obviously, we don't hear it from you, because you know why we budget. I'm talking about the people we see every day in our day-to-day -day lives, our friends and coworkers, the people who have a general idea of how much money we make and just don't understand why we budget. Today, we're gonna go through the reasons why Mauricio and I budget. So get ready to get out that pen and paper and get all motivated to budget. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's what my notes say. Right here. Let's try it. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have been on the Dave Ramsey plan for two years now, and we are working through $300,000 worth of debt. So if you would like to join us on our debt-free journey, feel free to click that big old subscribe button down below. So first things first, let's address the ever-present elephant in the room. This one. We have a larger income than the vast majority of people. Does that mean that we should be able to handle things better? No. We are the same as you and the same as the next person. We just make more money. And in truth, the reason we make more money is because the area we live in. There is a huge salary bump for living in Washington, D.C., just like there's a huge salary bump for New York or San Francisco or Los Angeles. Like, there's a map behind me. New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles. Just know that your mindset and my mindset are probably the same. We both want to be debt-free. We want to get there we have the same reasons and let's go through our reasons and see if they're your reasons so this one is really obvious number one we want to live a debt-free lifestyle it's the right thing to do it's what we need to do for us financially a debt-free lifestyle is freeing it's awesome it is what we want to achieve plus I want to be on the Dave Ramsey show. I really do. I'm like living for the day that I can do my debt-free screen. Number two. Okay, this one may not be one you have. Planning is my thing. I plan everything. There is a system and a method to absolutely everything I do. So why wouldn't there be a system and method to budgeting and finance? Why wouldn't I have an organizational system for my money when I have an organizational system literally for every single thing I own. Yep, I'm that girl. Number three, because we wanna know what it'll feel like to be debt free. I asked Mauricio why he wanted to be debt free before I made my notes for this video and he said because he wants to know what it'll feel like. And we started talking about it and I was debt free for like, maybe 90 days once. When I was in Los Angeles, I lived on my credit cards. And then shortly after that, I moved to Nicaragua and I paid off all of my debt. Right after I paid all my debt, I found out I was moving to Bogota, Colombia. And I decided I needed a new mattress. And so I bought a Tempur-Pedic. And it was expensive because, of course, me being me, I bought the top of the line Tempur-Pedic and I put it on my credit card. So I would say I was debt free for about 90 days. Mauricio says, well, he was in the police academy in Colombia. He was debt free. Technically, his parents had taken out a huge loan against the house to send him to the police academy in Colombia. So he never felt debt free and he very quickly after the academy started racking up debt because for the first time in his life he had a real salary and could buy more expensive things because people would give him credit for it. Number four, while money does not buy you happiness, it sure does help. Okay, this is the superficial side of me. Being able to do what I want to do or buy what I want to buy is a motivator. I want to be able to go on a vacation and not worry about how much it's going to cost because I will have that money saved ahead of time. Number five, it lowers your stress level. Having debt is really stressful. Not because we can't make the payments. We can. That's obviously not an issue. 
But because with every single cent that we spend not going to debt, it's like looming like right back here. You have debt. Look, it's like Pac-Man on the back of my brain. Having debt is stressful because what if I lose my job? Or what if Mauricio loses his job? We have this mountain of debt that we have to deal with. It would be nice to know that no matter what happens, we're okay. Number six. I wanna be able to go on a vacation and not worry about if what I've chosen to do for that day fits in my tight budget. Number seven, I'm tired of having to take out bank loans for big emergencies. While historically we've always had a stockpile of cash, when a huge emergency comes along, we have never been ready for it, ever. Or when a huge event comes along, we will not have saved up for it. We historically have had enough to get by, but not a lot, maybe a couple of paychecks worth, that's it. We haven't known our budget so intimately that we've been prepared for the things that could happen. And I know now that we are and we will be, and that's pretty awesome. Number eight, I wanna give. I wanna give a lot. I love to give things. I love to give presents, I love to help people. I just love to give. And while right now, predominantly our giving revolves around giving information, I would like to give gifts. I would like to help somebody who's in an emergency with some money. I would love to leave a huge tip at a restaurant and surprise the, the waiter or waitress who's serving us. Those are the kind of things I love to do. and. I wanna do them again because I miss doing them. Number nine, I hear that being debt free is boring and I could really use some boring in my life. I just imagine being debt free as like this amazing place where everybody should be and I'm hoping it's not boring. Even though I said that I wanted to be bored, my life is definitely, definitely not boring ever. So having boring finances, would be a huge plus. And number 10, I don't ever, ever, ever want to have to spend other people's money again. I've said this before several times, having a loan is spending other people's money. Having a credit card is spending other people's money. Yeah, you can pay it off eventually, but it's not your money until you've earned it and put it in the bank. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. I don't want to ever spend someone else's money again. I'm all about spending my own money. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.